Today I am sharing the best ways to make passive income online in 2017. My name is Kath Kyle and I help passionate business owners to create passive profits online. Are you looking for a passive income source but you don't know where to start? There are so many different ways to create passive income streams and some are more effective than others so it is difficult to know where to start and that's what I'm going to help you with today. For my first business, Green Thickies, this is the way I developed it and it's not actually how I'm developing this business now because I've learned a lot since then and I don't recommend doing it in the same way. But what I did basically was I just put, put out lots of different blog posts. I wrote a blog post every single day and five years ago that was quite effective because you could easily get ranked for keywords but now there's a lot more competition online so you, you can't really do it in exactly the same way as I did it. And it also took me about six months to start making any income at all. So I wouldn't recommend it because unless you're very dedicated to a business, not seeing any results at all for six months can be quite depressing and you might actually give up on the whole thing. So this is not the way I would recommend starting a passive income in this day and age. Now there are so many different ways to create passive income and it really does come down to what appeals to you, what you think could align with your skills, with your passion, with, with whatever it is you're trying to sell. But here are some different ideas for passive income. You could sell a product, you could sell it on Amazon, so you could buy in um, a bulk of products and resell them on Amazon for a profit and let Amazon do the work. Amazon have a service called FBA and that means that they, they you get the, the box of products shipped straight to them and they just resell it for you. They deal with the packaging, the processing, the refunds, absolutely everything and you just kind of sit, well it's maybe not quite as easy as that but you kind of sit back and watch the profits coming in. So there's also a business model where if you like to create courses, you could create courses on somewhere like Udemy. Udemy will set the price for the course, Udemy will market the course for you and Udemy will sort out a lot of the money as well and just pay you a certain amount for creating the course. So this is a very passive way to create an online business as well. Um, but the problem is that you don't have control of this yourself and similar with Amazon you don't always have complete control of it yourself so although it's really nice to go with a big website like Amazon or Udemy and think well they're going to do everything for me then things can be a little bit precarious in, in the sense of if they change their policy it can wipe out all your business overnight and this happens all the time. It puts people out of business immediately and they have nothing, they have no customer base, nothing because you're not allowed to email your customers on Amazon or Udemy, you just have to accept, you know, they've changed their, the way they, they've, they've dropped me, they're not marketing me anymore and there's nothing I can do about it. I don't have any customers so all that work is for nothing. There's also a passive income stream. If you wanted to create a service-based agency or industry and just run it yourself but not actually do the work yourself. So for example, if you created a digital marketing agency and you knew a thing or two about digital uh, work like Facebook ads or something, then you can hire somebody to do the work for you and you can just kind of manage the whole process. You can hire project managers, you can hire salespeople and the whole process can be done for you but it's not quite as, although you're not doing the actual work for the client, it's not quite as passive as that because you still do need to do, you know, the hiring and the firing of certain people. You need to make sure everything's run, ticking along. You need to be very good with your figures and making sure that you're actually making them a profit. Otherwise, it's all that hard work for nothing. Another one of these type of businesses is Fiverr. You can um, pay somebody to provide a service on Fiverr and you can just manage the whole thing. So that's another thing. And, but with all these kind of things, it, is, it can be quite hard to get up to the top of the rankings because you're competing with everybody else who's trying to do exactly the same thing. So it can be very difficult to get seen on that first page. And unless you're, you're on that first page, then you really don't have a business with these kind of websites that do everything for you. You could create some software, you could create, create some apps and you can just sell the software over and over again. You can have software as a service and people just pay you month by month 
and the software is already created so that can be a very a very nice passive business if you want to pay a developer up front but that can be quite risky because you've got quite a lot of money to pay up front and you don't know if the idea is proven you could also choose to write a book a lot of people love to do this so you spend I don't know a year writing a book you get a publishing deal or maybe you don't get a publishing deal and then the book just keeps selling over and over again and this can also be quite risky because you're investing such a lot of time up front and you really don't know if that book's going to sell, you don't know if it's going to be popular, so that, that can go either way with a book really. And lastly, there is a method of passive income which is to create your own online products and sell them via your own website. So which do I think is the best passive income stream? Well, I actually think that creating your own products is the best passive income stream because you're in complete control of it. If, you, if you're a business owner, then no doubt you want to be a business owner because you want to be in control of something yourself. You don't want somebody else to be controlling the processes. You want to control them. And the only way to do that is if you manage your own resources. So if you have your own website and you pay for advertising to, for people to come to your own website, in my opinion, that is the best, most sustainable form of passive income there is. And it can require a little bit more hard work than the other streams, which is why a lot of people don't do it. But having done it myself, then I can wholeheartedly say that it's absolutely worth the effort. So just to review, there are many, many forms of passive income. So you've got to think, what am I attracted to? When you're first getting started, you might want to delve into one of the, using one of these um, websites that are done for you so that it makes it easy for you to learn how to create passive income stream. Or you might want to do something like starting a social media channel and see if, see if you can develop a following on there. But what I do suggest that you do, and the best form of passive income, in my opinion, is eventually creating your own website, creating your own sales pages, and selling your own products, whether that be your own uh, books in a PDF form, whether that be an online course, online training, or memberships that people pay, or even coaching that you provide online. Whatever it is that you're providing, I do recommend doing it via your own website eventually when you get confident in the online world. So I've got a question for you. Which of these passive income streams appeals to you the most? Which one do you think that you could do eventually? Leave a comment in the box below and I do read every comment and I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video then please subscribe to my YouTube channel Kath Kyle for daily videos just like this one. And please like this video and share it so that you can help others and leave me a comment because I would love to hear from you. And I'd also love to know what are your questions so that I can create a video to help you answer your specific question. And if you'd like a free strategy call then let me know and we can arrange that. Have a wonderful and productive day. See you tomorrow. Bye!